There's a kind of water that is really good for our health, but people often ignore it. On the other hand, many folks keep drinking tap water, not knowing it can have hidden problems, like arsenic can be found in household tap water, either as a result of contamination from agricultural or industrial activities, or from being sourced from a private well. Exposure to arsenic may result in several health complications, including the onset of partial paralysis, a sensation of numbness in the extremities, specifically the hands and feet, gastrointestinal symptoms such as vomiting, nausea, abdominal discomfort, and diarrhea, changes in skin color or pigmentation, loss of vision or blindness. Chlorine is a naturally occurring chemical element known for its germicidal properties. However, it can have harmful effects on the human body when ingested or inhaled in large quantities. Upon entering the body, chlorine reacts with water to form acidic compounds. Overexposure to chlorine can lead to a variety of health problems including persistent coughing, difficulty in breathing, ongoing sore throat, a sensation of tightness in the chest, irritation of the airways, radiological contaminants. In some cases, tap water may contain radionuclides, which are radioactive forms of elements. These can enter water supplies naturally or as a result of human activities such as mining. Drinking water with radionuclides can increase the risk of cancer. Fluoride is a mineral found in various elements of the environment including air, rocks, plants, soil, and water, as well as in human bones and teeth. While fluoride is a natural component of the human body, consuming excessive amounts from tap water can lead to certain health complications, like fluorosis or significant skeletal issues. Long-term excessive intake of heavy metals, which can be found in tap water, can pose serious health risks. For instance, elevated levels of aluminum can heighten the risk of the following health complications. Abnormalities in brain structure, Parkinson's disease, dementia, Alzheimer's disease. Other threats to our health that can be found in tap water are herbicides and pesticides, bacteria, parasites, phosphates, radon, nitrates, diethylpethalate, manganese, pharmaceutical drugs, dioxins. Fortunately, we have access to a form of hydration that doesn't carry these risks. This seemingly simple liquid is more than just a thirst quencher. In fact, the health benefits it brings are quite astonishing. It not only maintains the vital functions of our body, but also plays an essential role in our overall well-being. It's not just for fancy dinner parties. Carbonated water has some surprising health benefits that make it a fantastic alternative to flat water or other beverages. Carbonated water is the result of infusing water with carbon dioxide gas under pressure. This process creates a bubbly beverage, which is referred to by various names including sparkling water, club soda, soda water, seltzer water, and fizzy water. Aside from seltzer water, these carbonated beverages often have added salt to enhance their flavor. On occasion, trace amounts of other minerals may also be incorporated. So, why should you drink carbonated water? Let's delve into the sparkling details. The Bohr effect is a physiological phenomenon first described by Christian Bohr in 1904, where an increase in the carbon dioxide concentration and decrease in pH results in a reduction of the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen. This leads to a higher release of oxygen in tissues. Conversely, when the levels of carbon dioxide decrease and pH increases, hemoglobin binds to oxygen more tightly. When we consider carbonated water, it contains dissolved carbon dioxide, which forms carbonic acid when in solution. This can create a slightly acidic environment, which might theoretically stimulate the Bohr effect when ingested, potentially enhancing oxygen delivery in tissues. The release of oxygen in tissues is an essential process for maintaining life and health. Every cell in our body requires oxygen to function, particularly for a process called cellular respiration. Here are the main benefits of releasing oxygen in tissues. Energy production. The most vital role of oxygen in the tissues is to aid in the production of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, the main energy currency of cells. This occurs during cellular respiration where glucose, sugar, is broken down and with the help of oxygen, produces ATP, water, and carbon dioxide. Supports organ function. Every organ in the body requires oxygen to function effectively. For example, the brain requires a constant supply of oxygen to carry out its complex tasks. Similarly, the heart needs oxygen to pump blood efficiently and the muscles need oxygen for contraction and movement. Healing and recovery. 
oxygen is critical for wound healing and recovery from illness. It aids in the production of new cells, helps fight infection, and promotes the healing of wounds. 4. Detoxification Oxygen plays a role in the detoxification processes in the liver, where harmful substances are broken down and made safe for the body to excrete. Immune System Function Certain cells of the immune system, like neutrophils, use oxygen to help kill harmful bacteria and other pathogens, keeping us healthy. In some laboratory and animal studies, carbon dioxide has been shown to potentially reduce inflammation in a variety of contexts. For example, in a 2017 study published in Frontiers in Immunology, researchers found that carbon dioxide could suppress the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines, molecules that promote inflammation in immune cells. Moreover, certain medical and therapeutic procedures that use CO2, such as CO2 baths or carboxytherapy, a procedure where CO2 gas is infused under the skin, are said to have anti-inflammatory effects. These procedures have been used for conditions such as peripheral artery disease, rheumatic diseases, and skin ulcers. The purported anti-inflammatory effect is thought to be due, in part, to CO2's ability to improve blood flow and oxygenation in tissues, which can help reduce inflammation. Now, carbonated water can help you stay hydrated. This may appear self-evident, but it bears repeating. Carbonated water can assist you in maintaining optimum hydration levels throughout the day. A considerable number of people believe carbonated water holds a more palatable flavor and is more appealing to consume compared to standard tap or spring water. Despite this, carbonated water offers equivalent health advantages to spring water. Primarily, it supports your body's hydration. Therefore, by choosing to drink carbonated water, you are more likely to keep your hydration levels high throughout the day. Plus, if you're trying to cut back on sugary drinks, carbonated water can be a great substitute. You still get that fizzy sensation, but without the added sugars. Another potential advantage of drinking carbonated water may be its positive impact on heart health. Preliminary research in this field is encouraging, with certain studies examining the effect of carbonated water on cholesterol levels. One such study investigated the influence of this fizzy beverage on the levels of cholesterol in the body. The study concluded that drinking carbonated water boosted the levels of good HDL cholesterol. Additionally, the research indicated that this type of water reduced bad LDL cholesterol, blood sugar levels, and markers of inflammation. Did you know that drinking carbonated water can aid digestion? That's right, it can help with feelings of fullness, and some studies even suggest it can alleviate constipation. Individuals suffering from constipation may discover that the consumption of sparkling water aids in alleviating their symptoms. In a two-week study involving 40 elderly participants who had previously suffered a stroke, the group that consumed carbonated water nearly doubled their average bowel movement frequency compared to the group that drank tap water. Moreover, the participants documented a 58% reduction in constipation symptoms. Additional evidence suggests that sparkling water may also ameliorate other indigestion symptoms, such as stomach discomfort. In a controlled study observing 21 individuals with chronic digestive problems, significant improvements in digestive symptoms, constipation, and gallbladder emptying were noted after 15 days among those who consumed carbonated water. Arguably, the most substantial health advantage of consuming carbonated water is its potential to aid in weight loss. This beverage tends to induce a sensation of fullness more effectively than regular water. Research also suggests that carbonated water prompts food to linger in your stomach for an extended period, which contributes to this increased feeling of satiety. As you feel more satisfied, your inclination to eat diminishes. Consequently, carbonated water acts as empty calories that curb your appetite. With reduced food intake, you're likely to shed weight at a quicker pace. Currently, the market offers an array of machines that enable you to create your own carbonated water right at home. So forget about tap water. You can feel better by consuming carbonated water and you will enjoy its long-term benefits on your health.